Welcome back to the podcast. This week, we're going to talk about something that uh, is a little used accessory. A lot of people don't use it, but if you want to step up your style game, you're going to find out exactly what it is. I've seen Dennis use it. Now, he's one of the only few guys that I've seen use it on Instagram or anywhere, but he used it to perfection, and I'm about to use it too this summer. Dennis, welcome to the show. Let everybody know what we're talking about, man. How you doing, guys? This is Dennis, and I'm here with my co-host, Richard Taylor, and we're going to be talking a little bit about bolo ties. <laughs> now, when you think of bolo ties, I know it scares people off. I get Hold that. on. Dennis, now, hold I... on. There's a lot of people, man. You said bolo ties. They don't even know what that is, man. You got to – let's break it down for some <laughs> people who never even heard of it because right now you, you might have lost, like, some of the people, for real. Like, what's a bolo tie before we dive in and go deep? Just, just you know, just educate us. It's pretty much bolo ties are created in a sense almost like custom. It's a rope tied up into, uh, I guess, some type of whatever you know logo you want on it. You get. Um, it's really supposed to be a Western thing, yeah. mixed in with vintage, I guess, in a sense. But it's one of the best pieces to own for the summer. I'm gonna tell you why. It's easy to wear. Now, you have to own it. That's number one. Obviously, not just anybody's going to just wear a bolo tie and kill it. I like the versatility of the bolo tie. You can wear it with a suit, a T-shirt, denim jacket, leather jacket, or just wear it with long, long sleeve denim shirt, and you're good to go, man. It's almost, in a sense, like uh, suspenders, Rich. I like Very it. Vers- I like it. Um, you know, the Western style appeals to me. I like that look, especially when you can, uh, you know, you kind of got the, the belt buckle look up here and then, you know, the, the leather braided rope hanging down. I mean, you might have seen it, like you said, in Western movies and old time looks. If you're a guy that likes that vintage style, I say pull it out. And I like what you said also, leather jacket, jean denim jacket. That's a, those are ways to crush it. And even in the summertime, like you said, you, you can pull that out. And I guarantee you right now, man, people are going to stop and ask you questions and give you compliments on that. I know that's had to have happened with you, right? Oh, absolutely, man. I think I, I teamed up with a, with a guy that I know from, uh, I guess he's not, he's not from around here, but I teamed up with him. And his bolo ties are custom made and they're incredible. Now, the key, this is the main key to wearing a bolo tie, Rich. Obviously, you're not going to wear it with a custom dress shirt. It has to be a soft fabric shirt, in, in a sense, or just a plain white shirt, Rich. Uh, you're not going to do it with a club collar, obviously. So that's the important factor in it. Just try to dress it down as much as you can because the bolo tie is going to dress any look that you have. I like that. Good point. Good tip. And uh, one of the questions, let me, let me ask this for the people that's listening, the people that's watching, they, they might have questions and, and we want to address all those before we get some whole bunch of guys out there wearing bolo ties and, and wearing like, uh, you're not talking about wearing a, a Brooks Brothers suit, you know, for the office and then you're just throwing a bolo tie. It doesn't work like that, right? No, not at all. Um, <clears throat> it does help to have your kind of suits, Rich. I'm going to tell you one, I'm going to tell you why, because you have, great your fabrics are very high quality and they lay perfectly on the on your shoulders so if you have shoulder pads if you're wearing a bolo tie it's not necessarily going to work rich so you got to make sure you, your suit has to lay properly it's true if you understand what i'm saying and, and you have to have some type of, of lapels on i like that good point i appreciate the the props on the brand uh, definitely we try to have the wider lapel and uh we have the deconstructed shoulder as well. It helps to have a more relaxed look if you want to go casual. And uh, I know my brother, he's a fan of the bolo ties. He lives out west. He just moved right. to Arizona. He was in California for a while. And uh, out there, man, you got a lot of different cultures. So it wasn't as much of a shock um, when he broke out the bolo tie. When he came back to Michigan to visit, he, he wore one. And everybody was, like, just stopping him in his tracks, just saying, like, man, what? Like, a lot of people, like I said, they didn't even know what it was. Didn't know what to call it, and they're just like, "What is that? What is that on your neck? What is this thing hanging down?" And I'm telling you, man, he shut the whole thing down, and it's just like, it's just something. I think if if you have you have to have a, a level of confidence and 
and just be willing to try it. What, what do you say to, to people who are like, man, I couldn't pull it off. I know some people say that about hats, like they just can't wear hats. What about the bolo tie? Can anybody do this? Nah, just grow a mustache. You should be fine and give yourself some <laughs> tinted <of> shades. <laughs> I mean, that helps. In my mind, that helps. Listen, this is the thing about, this is the thing that people forget about. Bolo ties, you have to own it. If you got a nice pair of tinted shades, you got a nice mustache, got a nice look to it, you have to be a nice, clean appearance to yourself to be able to do that. Because if you wear a, if you're sloppy in a sense, Rich, it's not going to come off in a natural tone. Um, and if you have hats, if you wear hats in general, yeah. whether they be uh, cowboy hats or just fedoras, uh, newsboy caps, Rich, those work very well with that. I can see that. Yeah, the, the, those working with the uh, with the bolo tie. And also, you know what I think? If just for like a date night or just just going out, hanging out with some uh, that, some some dark denim. And, uh, you know, maybe uh, a nice little print on your jacket. And if you keep the, you keep the shirt pretty basic and neutral. But yeah. also, I think, I think you could do bolo ties with a printed shirt, too, couldn't you? Absolutely. Um, actually, similar to these shirts, you could actually layer your bow tie and just let it drape over nicely if you wanted to do that with, a, with more of a casual suit. Maybe a linen suit. That would work. Um, as far as shoes, Rich... Please, no sneakers. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> yeah, no sneakers with the bolo tie. You just ruined it. Yeah. Because yep. I get that a lot. I'm like, yo, what, what shoe wear do I wear with a bolo tie? I'm like, eh, you can't wear sneakers, buddy. I mean, no, you got to make no. sure your shoes have to have either, either you know, ankle boots, just a nice pair of brogues. I like that. Yeah, I was going to say brogues, brogues or boots, some kind of boots. Um, yeah, no, no sneakers, please. Yeah, no. Even if it's a dress, even a dress boot. Um, my brother did an all black. He did an all black look. It was a pretty casual black suit, um, right. great shirt, and then he did a silver buckle bolo with the uh, with the black the black leather hanging down, and uh, you know just with with a pair of black boots. They weren't cowboy boots, but nice dress boots. They were kind of to a point. Uh, gave it that western feel. You know what I mean? You you got to envision like you're coming through like Clint Eastwood. You know. It's just, oh man! See that? He just painted a picture. Now, real quick, Rich. One last thing. How do we get the bolo ties? Very simple. Um, this is the one thing that people ask because usually when you look at bolo ties online, you usually go to Etsy or eBay, and do you want to wait a month or two to get them? Mm, probably don't. So this is the thing that you must do. Rich, right now, has a supply of bolo ties. You're coming. Not right now, but very soon, Rich. I'm gonna let you go in and. Let the folks know what's going to be on your site when it comes to bolo ties. Well, we're starting off, you know, as we do everything at Harrison Blake, you know, on a small scale, do it cautiously and just kind of roll it out, get the feel of what customers like. And uh, so we have about three or four different designs that's coming out very soon. And uh, look for that on the stories. And we'll definitely have the swipe up link. Dennis will be having some. He'll be styling them. He'll be doing shoots. And uh, you guys are going to see exactly how to style these bolo ties. I'm telling you, it's vintage inspired for the summer. And, and, and also, into the fall, man, I like to – this is how I'm envisioning it for myself. I'm thinking tweed with the newsboy cap and the bolo tie Ooh. in the fall. You know? That's, that's what the bolo tie needs to stay. It doesn't have to be something that comes in and out of fashion. Maintain it, and Rich is going to have a supply of bolo ties coming pretty soon. So you're not going to have to wait a month or two no. to order one. Rich no, is based in Michigan, so he's going to get you that bolo tie in a week. Yeah. It, yep, it definitely. And we made sure that, you know what, we, we vetted the companies. It's going to be good quality. We're making sure we're using high-grade high materials. And, uh, man, lastly, another thing that you can do in the summer – you know, when it gets kind of cool in the evening, here in Michigan, it's never really that hot. So even in the summertime, you can do an extra layer. Um, <clears throat> throw on a cardigan. A cardigan with the bolo tie, too, is if you want to kind of mix the two. A little bit of a preppy look, but you, you can pull it off. If you got to have the boots, though. you got to have the boots, though. Yeah, so uh, please, I mean, invest in a nice, nice pair of boots. And, uh, I mean, the bolo ties is going to come in handy. For guys who don't want to – 
you know, they look at ties as, oh, man, it's summertime, it's hot, I don't want to wear a suit. Bolo ties could be worn, like I said, without a suit or with a suit. So that's going to work for a lot of people, Rich. Last question before we close this out. I want to clear this up. What you have on right now, you don't have it buttoned all the way to the top. That, no. that style shirt is not designed to be buttoned all the way to the top, like a traditional, like this. Okay, so let me ask you. Could you wear a bolo tie with that outfit and have it hanging down a little bit? Exactly. See, the key what you mentioned is it has to hang a little bit lower than the button. Exactly. So you could do that easily, easily with this kind of shirts. That's what I wanted to make like, mention of because I, I, I think people are going to hear us wrong and think they've got to take this button, go all the way to the top, button it, throw the bolo nah, tie don't make it a choker. and make it look stuffy. No. Guys. What Dennis has on right now, even I could wear it right now. I can put it, I can drop it to about here, and it's fine. Look at that. You could wear it to right here. Let it drape. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna have I'm gonna do a photo shoot on the bolo ties. We got it coming. coming up. Up. Yep. I'm gonna do that today. It sounds good. But guys, don't be afraid of this bolo tie. If you wanna see somebody who styled it, go back through Dennis page. He has a couple on there. Um, really tough looks. But uh, stay tuned. We will have them on Harrison Blake Apparel. And I cannot wait to keep just pushing the envelope. And really, man, I enjoyed these conversations on Zoom. I hope you guys are liking it on uh, YouTube, IGTV. You get to see us. But also, you know, we still have the long format show as well. So keep listening and supporting the podcast. We appreciate it. And follow us over at The Gent Podcast on Instagram and get in touch. If you have a brand, you have a story you want to promote, reach out. This is the guy to promote your products right here. The number one influencer on Instagram puts his heart and soul into it. And if you're looking for business and entrepreneurship information, I got you covered. So we're the tag team. We got you guys, man. We got you. We got you guys. So uh, be on the lookout for um, where the bell pins is. They're going to have a variety of stuff coming out from suits, shirts, shoes, and bolo ties. I mean, come on. Hey. One stop, one stop stop shop baby one stop shop that's that's it man hey enjoy your afternoon and we're gonna chop it up soon bro take care man enjoy your weekend brother